Does the Arabic language have a place in the world today? Does it even matter in this day and age? And if it matters, why this instead of a class or watching a YouTube channel? My name is Matt Tadiso, I'm a TCK and the Arabic language happens to be my second language. I'm here to break the stereotypes, the stigmas around quote unquote black women speaking Arabic. The sources that I'm going to use in this episode are taken from Britannica, AsianAbsolute.com, Omniglot.com, My Own Experiences, Knowledge and Observations. I find that as a CELTA holder, which allows me to teach English as a foreign language to adults and children as well as Arabic, I had a glimpse of both worlds as a English tutor as well as teaching Arabic to beginners. And that is, as a foreigner, I find that the groups are somewhat not welcoming to see a quote-unquote black woman who speaks Arabic to take on the field. Whereas if you enter a group with Arabic speakers who identify as Caucasian, they'll be somewhat heading full speed to take on the profession as an English tutor. That is to say, they will find less friction. As long as they have the skill, they'll be welcomed into the field. So why Arabic? Arabic happens to be the fifth most spoken language in the world and in the UN it's considered one of the six official languages. In 2010 the UNESCO deemed the 18th of December to be the World Arabic Language Day celebrated internationally. There are about 30 dialects in the Arabic language but there are only 20 to 23 that are deemed quote unquote worthy of learning or quote unquote intelligible or quote unquote considered to be proper Arabic. I'm here to shed light on the Arabic dialects that you hardly ever hear of and that are seemingly ostracized. In today's episode, I'm going to take you on a brief tour around one of the Arabic dialects. This dialect is actually a national language of Mauritania. It's spoken in Western Sahara, Southern Morocco, Senegal, Northwest Mali, Libya, North Niger, and Algeria. Its name, Hassaniya. Hassaniya is also called Moor. Another name is Hassaniya and Klem El Ba'than. Where does the word Hassaniya come from? How did the dialect get its name? Hassaniya is actually a language whose name is derived from the tribe called Beni Hassan, which translates as sons of Hassan who migrated from Yemen. It is also said that if you are a speaker of the Hassani language, then you are considered to be more despite your ethnic background. And what does the Hassaniya Arabic look like in writing? The Hassaniya Arabic retrieves its letters from the modern standard Arabic language, which happens to be the lingua franca shared between the Arabic speaking nations. However, they have their own variations in their phonemes or sounds which shape the dialect and give it its own uniqueness. What does it sound like? I'll play for you a YouTube video of a Mauritanian speaking Hassaniya Arabic calling for a campaign for women in Mauritania. مجهود كبير في مجال العائد الديمقراطي هي ودول الساحل اللي معاه وهذه فرصتنا نحن العليات يسوى كنا كبارات ويسوى كنا صغارات ويسوى المتعلمات منا ويسوى المهم متعلمات سياني فيه ذوك منا الساكنات في الدشرة وذوك اللي في البادية واللي في الريف به اللي هذا and welcome back alas we've come to the closure of this episode but it's not a monologue it's a dialogue it's a community are you a black woman teaching or perhaps interested in teaching arabic share your thoughts and experiences in the comments 
interested in learning modern standard Arabic, come and join our Women's Only for Black Women group on Facebook called Black Women Learning Arabic. Until next time, I'll see you, God willing, inshallah.